Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. So as I said before, it is a, a big joy for us to be a part of your service today. For those who don't know me, my name is Suleiman. I come from Burkina Faso. Somewhere in West Africa, for those who have never heard about it. I've been living here for the last uh, 11 years. And uh, our heart is to be able to see uh, not just that uh, uh, we are happy coming together as believers. But we are able to reach out. But we are able to reach out. And to be a blessing to other people as well. Because we felt that this is a, a need that is in place. This is a need that is in place in this country. And as believers, we have to be part of what God is doing in the field. So I say thank you for Gideon and his wife and all of you for allowing us to come. And before I just start my message, I would like to pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time you give us together. We thank you for this church that has been serving here for so many years. We thank you for their faithfulness. We thank you, Father God, for each and every person that is taking part in this work. And we pray, Father God, that your word may have an impact in our lives. We pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit may inspire and strengthen us. Challenge us, Father God, and give us the grace to walk according to your desire. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. So, uh, if you have your Bibles, please go, we are just going to read one verse um, in uh, Proverbs 14, and there we find in verse 4. And verse 4, there it says, without oxen, a stable stays clean. But you need a strong ox for a large harvest. You need a strong ox. So, what I want to speak about, in a way, is the increase of a harvest. How can we increase harvest? Is in our own life, or in our own church, or in our own community. In Proverbs 14.4, it is a proverb. Uh, Solomon was, you know, a wise man, but spoke many proverbs. Salomon, han talade mörg kvæði. And in old days, many people speak in proverbs yeah. Yeah. So, in a way, this is some kind of proverb to say some kind of truth. Because at his time, there was many you know, people who worked as in their field in agriculture. Say they would, they would understand this very well when it's connected to field. Because this is some this is something they know very well. So that's why Solomon says this. So Solomon says without an oxen, a stable stays clean. We all know what an ox is. Maybe not here in Iceland so many, you don't see many people using oxes on their own field. But I came from a country where people, 80% of the people are working in the field. 
En ég kom frá landi þar sem 80% af þjóðinni vinnur út á aðrinum. People are very familiar with what is happening in og fólk veit mjög vel hvað er að gerast á aðrinum. En what you do in order to be able to cultivate a large portion of land og það sem þú gerir til þess að virkja bara stórt, stóran landsluta if you don't have a tractor ef þú ert ekki með traktor which is very expensive a, sem er mjög uh, dýr they use the auctions þá nota þeir uxana and what they do when somebody have two oxen og það sem þeir gera þegar einhver hefur tvo uxa they would use these two oxen að þá nota þeir þessa tvo uxa and they would put a yoke over both of them og þeir setja ok á báða yfir háls beggja þeirra and then they will have you know some kind of uh, shawri on the back og svo hafa þeir einhvers konar shawri what um, uh, what you call it plo you uh, shawri is a french sorry french word but yeah in a, you have a plo in the back have a plo uh, and then you would use that in order to, you know, to work in the field, line after line after line yeah. after line. So you nota thetta bed after bed after bed, and then play it. And easily you can cover a big portion of a land. Or on that hand, you can come to a big part of land. Here in Iceland. Here in Iceland. Of course, you have your truck. There it is too expensive. Few people have tractors. Uh, you mean yeah, few no, people? Oh, Even in this time. So most of the farmers use these oxen. So uh, Just like in the time of Solomon, most oh. people use their oxen in order to work. Alveg eins og á dögum Salomons að þá nota flestir uxa uh, sem sagt við vinnu sína. And Salomon using the, their understanding about the ox and the importance of the ox in the field, he want to give a proverb and teach a lesson. Svo að Salomon vill kenna okkur leksíu í gegnum uh, uxana og að vegna þess að þeir skildu þetta táttmál. In order to be able to cultivate a large land to produce a an ox. Og til þess að geta virkjað og írt stórt mi- land, þá þurftur á uxa að halda. And what is very special is that he didn't just say you need just a ox. Og það sem er mjög sérstætt er að hann sagði ekki að þurfti bara uxa. He, he said you need a strong one. Hann sagði að þurfti sterkan. You need a strong one, a strong ox. Já, sterkan uxa. So, and Part of the, my message, what I, I want you to remember is this, the strength of the ox. The strength of the ox is what gives it its ability to work a large field and do a lot of work. And when it says here that if without an ox a stable stays clean, Og þar sem segir að án uxans að þá er uh, jatan uh, hrein. The stable, when I, when I look at in the word, in a way, Tom. In, in the way, of course, a stable is sometimes we can know it has a place where, you know, you can keep your horses or things like that. Og þetta er staður þar sem að þú he, hefur hestana þína og... But in this context, en when I look at it very, sanningi, you know, when I, I look at in, in the, the, the uh, you know, the original, you know, Tradition. Já, við lítum á uh, it simply means where you keep food, where you keep your food. Þá er þetta sem nú so if we want to simplify what Solomon is saying, so, uh, tökum eftir hvað hann er að segja. he's saying in another word, if you don't have a job, your bank account is empty. So the stable, we, it is a place where where, where the farmer keep his food. So, in, the, in, in this context where he was speaking about. So, because if you don't have an ox to work the field, you will not have in order to fill your stable with, you know, with food. So, of course, if you don't have food, your life is threatened. So, if you don't have food, then your life is threatened.
Yeah, so in, a, in another way, in our modern term, it would simply mean that you need a job in order to have, you know, so, uh, if you don't want to empty your bank account. And what I want to put, you know, I, I want to emphasize on is the strength of ox. In, in India, in, in some part of India, uh, they, they, they actually, those who don't have ox, they use people, you know, like, you know, some, maybe a family would you, you know, two people would, ha would hold the plow behind, and then one person would be trying to draw the, the, the plow. How much can you do with that? How much can you do with that? How 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 much you know? How much ground you could you know cover? Very little. Because number one, it is not an ox. And number two, they they don't have the strength to cover a big a large portion in the field. And what Solomon is emphasizing here is the strength of the ox. And as I say in Burkina Faso, we put, you know, an, um, what, what you call it, a, a yoke upon the And then you have a plot behind. And, and, and then the person could remove the grass. Remove the grass away. And cultivate the land. And make a condition where you can sow your grain. So, in a way or another, why are we talking about in Iceland where we are we have tractors? We don't need the story about an ox, but some people's you know, problem. But in a way or another, in a way or another, the point was not just to, to teach a lesson, to say a proverb when Solomon said this. It is as well a spiritual lesson. And we as the believers of Jesus Christ, we have a role in the field. Well, we have a role in the field. Has the believers of Jesus Christ. Sem, uh, uh, we are called to work in a field. Erum til a vinna á akri. And to work in this field. Og til a vinna á þessum akri. We need the strength of the ox. Þá við uxans. In another word. Með öðrum orðum, if you want to cover a large portion of the land. If you want to cover a large land. You need strength. Þá þættu kraft. You need strength in order to, to do the work effectively. So I consider the oxen to be you and me. So I consider the oxen to be you and me. You need the strength in order to work in the field. So that crafting to the winna or akrin. The field is where you are in Keplavik, in your own family, in Keplavik, in life, in living. God into his field. And as I say, when, when, when we cultivate with the ox, we put a yoke upon it, and we put a on it, you have already received a yoke upon you. It is the yoke of Jesus Christ. And that yoke is your call. Each and every believer have a call in his own life. And that is your yoke. And that yoke is your call. And Jesus has laid it upon you. I, I 
Og ég trúi því að í aðan þar sem fæðan var sett var er Guðs ríkið. Keep it in a place. Alveg eins og þegar að bændur áttu, höfðu mikla fæðu þá heldur að hafa geimslustað. That's how much God desire has well when we people get saved we have a place where they can grow. I shall have a place where they can keep the same hope. Þráir Guð að við höfum stað þar sem fólk getur vaxi þar sem fólk fær andlega fæðu þegar að frelsast. You don't just need to be saved. Þú þarft ekki bara frelsast. You need a safe environment. Þú þarft að a safe environment where you where you can where you can stay in a, in a way that is you know where, where you can serve your purpose þú þarft öruð umhverfi þar sem þú getur þjóna þínu tilgangi and that is a stable og það er jatan so for here you're in your, in your environment of keplavik so here erum við í keplavik í okkar kringustæði this is your field þetta er þinn akur of course you go in different places og auðvitað förum við á mismöndi staði but it is in a novel way your call is to make a difference in this community, in this society það er að make a difference hafa áhrif and as well of course starting in our own families og starting starting in our own families byrjar í okkar fjölskyldum and the plow og plowurinn you to be armed the guy with the oaks. Keep him on. The plow, I believe, is the word of God. Is the plow is what removes the grass and all, you know, the stink stuff away. The plow is what removes the grass and all, you know, the stink stuff away. The plow is what removes the grass and all, you know, the stink stuff away. The plow is what removes the grass and all, you know, the stink stuff away. The plow is what removes the grass and all, you know, the stink stuff away. Plóurinn er það sem gefur jörðunni sem sagt góðan eh ja gerir hana hæfa til að taka við eh sákornnu and that is the word of god og það er orð guðs the word of god is what can make a difference in people's life og það er það sem getur gert gæfi muninn í lífi the word of god is what can turn people from worldly way of seeing things to christly way of seeing things orð guðs snýr fólki frá heims hyggju heimsins og inn í líf andans because if 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 Christ come into your life he transform your life through his word vegna þess að hann umbreytir lífi þínu í gegnum orð sitt just like the the, the you know the farmer work in his field remove the grass the bad grass is the bad, bad way of seeing things the bad thinking the things that are not godly what is the bad grass yeah. Og slæma grasið sem að bóndin tekur plægir í burtu að það eru allir þessi slæmur hlutir sem fylgja syndin í okkar lífi og það sem hindrar að orguðs fái aðgang. So believe me, you need to plow and plow well in your own field. Svo þú þarft að plæja og plæja vel í þínum eigin akri. Your field has a say is your area of influence. Akurinn þinn hefur, segja þetta ekki? Your area of influence. Ja, akurinn þinn hann hefur áhrif á þitt svæði. In of áhrif á svæði þitt. And of course the harvest what they get at the end of his labor or work. Og auðvitað að uppskeran sem að bóndinn fær að loknu verki is that the result is different as for a church it might be more members being added to the church. Að það gæti verið í ef við tökum kirkjuna sem dæmi þá þýðu það að fleiri koma inn í kirkjuna Might be the increase of harvest in your own life could be just the increase of your prayer life in your own personal life Að fá meiri ávöst í þínu eigin lífi eða uppskeru er að það geti verið að bæna líf þitt aukist Increase of harvest could be simply that more people get saved in your own family that could be an increase of harvest Líka að aukning á sem sagt uppskeru gæti þýtt að fleiri frelsast í þinni eigin fjölskyldu Increase of harvest could be mean as well a provision in your own life in your own life that God has provided in a miraculous way in your own life Aukning uppskeru getur einni þýtt að Guð sem sagt bara sér fyrir þér og það er aukin blessun and the increase of harvest could mean as well a stable and stronger marriage in your own, you know, marriage. Og aukning á uppskeri getur líka þýtt stöðugra og sterkara hjónaband. Increase of harvest could mean different things with different people. Getur þýtt 
mismunandi hluti við mismunandi fólk. And but I would like to take this specially the context of a church. En ég vil bara skoða þetta í samhengi kirkjunar. Of course it start at home. Uh, of course it start at home. Og þetta byrjar að heima. But what do we need in order to have a good harvest within a church? En hvað þurfum við til að hafa góða uppskeru í kirkjunni? And that is the same of course for all the other areas. Og það er náttla það sama og fyrir öll hin sviði. Let us just read what Jesus said because it is very important to know what how, what what is possible. How can we strengthen the ox and how the ox can be enough strong in order to do the work? Lesum bara það sem Jesus sagði og vegna þess að það er mikilvægt að skilja eh að við þurfum sterkan uxa og að eh það getur verið að uxinn sé ekki nógu sterkur í verkið. When 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 Jesus was uh, living þegar Jesus var hér when when he left uh, in a way when he left this earth heim, he was leaving his disciples after him eftir, and they needed strength in order to continue the work there was no possibility for them to make the Það var engi möguleiki fyrir þá að að hafa þessi áhrif sem þeir höfðu eða þeir höfðu ekki haft uh, einhvern kraft. So what did they do in order to you know So ger, hvað gerðu þeir til að meðtaka þennan kraft? What we can see what just in in the book of Acts. Við getum séð í postulasögunni. Chapter 1. We can read chapter 1 verse 8. Við getum lesið vers 8 í kafla 1 í postulasögunni. Act 1. Apostle Saint Anne. That's it. You can read it when you find it. Vers 8. Þér munu en þér munu lars kraftir heila og randi kemur yfir yður og þér munu verða vottar mínir í Jerusalem og allri Júdeu í Samaríu og allt til endi marka jarðarinnar. And if you continue reading. Og ef við höldum áfram að lesa. In in a, in a no, I think in verse 9 they say they all meet together and were constantly united in prayer. Uh, 14. Yeah, 14. Í bæninni, Along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, konunum, Marie, Móðir Jesu, var líka með þeim, several women uh, and, and the brothers of Jesus. Og Jesu. So in a way when Jesus was so he did not just left them just alone and helpless. Because the world was like a very big field. And he needed that these oxes were with strength to work the field. And that's why he told them to to wait in Jerusalem until they receive that power. And that power came when they remained in Jerusalem and constantly praying. I think you, they say they all met together. And another very important word constantly united in prayer because sometimes we we want to do things but one want to do it in this way another want to do it in another way and the prayer is just yeah might be yeah it come come with it but the secret here is and of a church, but not only they were united, they were consistent. They did not just come a prayer meeting and then just say, oh, Jesus was, isn't doing anything, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> they didn't say that. <laughs> so they didn't say that. They, they needed to come Þeir þurftu stöðulega að koma. So that's why because I'm taking the context of a church. Vegna þess að ég er að hugsa um samhengi kirkju. I would like to emphasize this same word of of, of Jesus. Bara leggja áherslu á þessi orð Jesu. They all 
meet together er allir komu saman constantly in prayer í bæn not just pray ekki bara biðja be consistent heldur stöðulega Amen. Amen. Because being consistent also, it's proof that you believe that the God who called you to do the work is able to do what he says he will do. Vegna vera stöðu, það segir að þú trúir að sá Guð sem hefur kallað því að hann sé færum að gera það sem að hann hefur kallað því að Anybody can start anything. Allir geta byrjað. But to be consistent, en að vera stöðu, you have to see, you have to be more than willing to just start. Þá þarf að vera meira en fús til þess að hætta ekki. Because that's why this church is still here. I believe it has been consistent because its eyes are not on people only, but it is on God. Og ég trúi að ástæðan fyrir þessi kirkja er hér er að augur okkar er ekki bara á fólki heldur einni á Guði. And God is able to do the work he has called us to manifest. Og Guð er um að gera það sem hann hefur kallað okkur til. He has called us to do the work, hann hefur kallað okkur til að vinna. But he has promised to give us the strength in order to do the work. En hann hefur lofað að gefa okkur styrkin til að vinna verkið. And then he gave us also the way how we can get this. Og hann gefur okkur líka hvernig við getum unni verkið. By praying, coming together in unity. Með því að byðja og koma saman í einingu. And when it comes to prayer. Og þegar það kemur á bæninni. Of course in the city in Reykjavík we have, you know, different home groups. Í Reykjavík þá höfum við mismöndi heima. I believe here as well, probably. Og kannski hafið þið það hér líka. And, but what I would like to see more. Það sem ég vil sjá meira. But people not only come to the world of home groups. Að fólk komi ekki bara saman sem heima hópa. But we have a passion to increase, to have a greater harvest in the world. Hafi heldur líka sem sagt ástríðu til þess að auka við aukin ávust í sínu eigin lífi. Og verið ekki sami heimahópurinni og eins og var síðustu 10-15 árin. Og við heimahópur kemur saman og segir við verðum hérna 2-3 ár. Og verðum stöðug. But if we increase. En ef við aukumst We are going to have another team in another place Ef það verður aukning að þá höfum við Maybe the other team will be in Grindavík Að þá getur vel verið að það verið annar hópur í Grindavík Another team in Reykjanes Bær Annar í Reykjanes Bær Another team in here Annar hópur hér And different team in different places Og mismöndi hópur og mismöndi stöðum But with one spirit En í einum anda With one purpose Einn tilgang Working in the field að vinna á akrinum in order to have greater harvest á akrinum til þess að fá meiri uppskir that's how we can have an influence over a bigger portion a number of people þannig getum við hafa áhrif á stærri hóp af fólki it's only 12 disciples það var aðeins 12 lærisvinnar but Jesus chose sem Jesus valdi but there is nowhere in the world today where you will go and say Jesus and somebody will say I have never heard that before og hvergi sem sagt í heiminum getum við sagt að enginn hafi heyrt Jesus and yes you will always find somebody at least who have heard that name já flestir hafa heyrt þetta nafn not who believe necessarily but at least ekki endilega hann trúi heldur að hann hefur heyrt nafnið the secret is not just because they were just 12 og leyndardómurinn er ekki bara því að þau voru 12 they just had the strength of the ox what Salomon is talking about þeir bara eignuðust hennar styrkleika uxan sem við erum að tala um The strength of the ux kom through prayer kom í gegnum bænina constantly stöðulega united samennaðir in prayer í bæn Halleluja Halleluja That's what the Lord I believe is calling us to do það er það sem að drottin er að kalla okkur til að gera á hans akri Because I think it will only be a foolish eh farmer who would have a big land who would I'm just I'm just going to have just what I'm going to do it's fine I cannot do all this this field is too big for me þessi akur er á stór fyrir mig I'm just going to do what I'm going to you know I'm going to eat and that is fine for me ég bara að uppskera af því sem ég þarf fyrir mig a wise farmer Vítur A wise farmer would see Okay, how can he maximize his harvest 
Hvernig get ég sem sagt fengið sem mest út úr þessari uppskeru? And then he will work his field. Og síðan vinnur hann á akrinni. Be a blessing for his own life. Og verður blessum fyrir sitt eigin. Be a blessing for those around him. Og verður blessum fyrir þá sem er í kringum hann. And be a blessing in his own community. Og verður blessum fyrir sitt eigin samtilag. That's a wise farmer. Það er vitur... Hallelujah. And God has called us to work in this field. He has called us to make a difference. But he has not called us just to be some oxen. He has called us to be ox with strength. Ox that have strength to work the land. Ox that doesn't fall. Because it has the strength that is necessary. But because it eats the necessary food, we have all he needs in order to be strong. It is not different from us. And 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 it is and the prayer yeah. is the way as well that we maintain and receive the strength from God himself. But the, through prayer is the way we receive strength. Yeah, Bænin er að við uh, meðtökum stöðulega kraft til að vinna á akrinn. And that is very important. Og það er mjög mikilvægt. I, 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 my prayer mín bæn and desire og þrá is to see more home groups er að sjá fleiri heimahópa, fleiri sem eru viljuður að byðja, fleiri sem eru tilbúnir að vera koma stöðulega saman og byðja, svo að við sjáum kyrkjur styrkjast, svo að við sjáum kyrkjur styrkjast, að fleira fólk kom inn í kyrkjurnar, að fleiri fjölskyldu frelsist, og að fleira ungt fólk komi til Guðs, vegna þess að við höfum áhrif á þá í þeirra lífi, annað hvort er það við sem höfum áhrif á þá eða heimurinn hefur áhrif. Og Guð hefur kallað okkur til að hafa áhrif á líf þeirra til þess að draga þau til Kris. Já, og treystu á Guð sem hefur kallað þið til verksins. Sem að getur gert gæfumunum bara í gegnum þig. Vertu viss um að þú ert uxin en ekki einhver annar. Allir sem að eru kallaðir þeir hafa og á sér til þess að uppskeran komi inn. Og þetta og er indælt og þetta er létt, segir Jésús. Except if the ox is too weak. Nema að uxin sé of weak. Too weak. Weak, já. Já, hann sé of veikur. Of veikur. Of veikur eða latur. No, you didn't say that. Ok. So... Svo við vittum hvað við um að gera til að vera sterk í rugsar. We just need to do it. Við bara þurfum að gera það. Put it into practice. Bara framkvæma. Was it not what our sisters were reading here? Our sister was reading what here. Sisterin okkar las. They say those who do what I say are those who love me. Þeir sem gera það sem ég segi, það eru þeir sem elska mig. Not those who know what I say. Ekki þeir sem vita hvað ég sagði. Those who does what I say. So my my prayer and encouragement to you is. So I bind me no upper and till I carry. Together has one. At the stand in saman sem et. And be consistent. Or where is stood. And have a vision of enlarging your influence or your harvest. Have you seen a the oika with landikar? Because I believe even you know God is bringing some internationals here. What as well is a field. Og Guð, hann er að koma með fólk, sem sagt, alþjóðasamfélag hér og það er líka akur. 
I, I, I am glad to know that you have like an English uh, speaking home group. Is, is, it, is it that right? Uh, you, have, you have like a home group? Not that I know. Okay, not that, okay. Hopefully what is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I read something else. Okay. Yeah, it's in the yes. kit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. So, I believe that as well is another field that, you know, the church is going to reach out to. So, that is one field that the church is going to And just expand our influence and be a blessing in our community. God has called us to be the oxens in this country. He has given us the way we can do it. We just need to do it. Amen. Amen. We just need to do it. May the Lord grant us grace. Be oxen. But are useful in the field. Very useful. Just doesn't Mjög. occupy just the ground. But they are useful in the field. Mjög nothæfir, nothæfir á Hallelujah. 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 It's good to be part of what God is doing. God and together right. we can do much more. Amen. Amen. May the God of Israel bless you. May God bless you. And before I finish, if, uh, if somebody would like a prayer, I would be ready. We could pray together. Yes. Now, will you be the same? And I would like as well if. You know, you don't mind. Or if, if you don't mind. But everybody would just come, we're gonna sing just one song together and pray that prayer. Or if Adli came or we sing him eight songs saman. And that prayer is that God make me a strong ox. Useful ox. Or sing him saman, good get him a sterkum uxa or not have him uxa. We're gonna sing one song and pray that prayer that God may make us that strong ox that will be used in the field. And if somebody has, you know, a prayer need or, or a sick we prayer, we will be ready as well to pray after that for that person. Amen. Amen. Could we just come forward? And uh, and it lies and say, 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 it lies and say,